Two developments in a fatal officer-involved shooting in Salt Lake City last month. For the first time, we're seeing the officer's body cam video. News specialist Lad Egan's at police headquarters with the latest. Lad? This happened less than two weeks ago, on the morning of July 25th, at the downtown Smith's grocery store, where an employee called police to say that two men had stolen property and were fighting. They're fighting each other. One has a knife. The loss prevention person said the suspects left the store together and described the knife as being the length of a forearm. Police say when the first officer arrived on scene, it quickly turned into a hostage situation. Drop the knife and... Hey! I will tase you if you don't stop. Stop right there. Hey! He's got a hostage. Police say the suspect had the knife on the victim's throat, making it an aggravated kidnapping. At this point, a second officer arrives. Both officers gave several verbal commands to the suspect to stop and drop the knife. Here's the view from the second officer's camera. We will pause it when the shots are fired. I don't make promises I can't keep. I promise you that. Hey, look, dude, it's not worth it. It's not worth it, dude. The first shot hit the suspect, police say, but that he continued to hold the victim at knife point. Both officers discharged their weapons as the hostage broke free and the suspect fell to the ground. Police identify the man who was killed as 34-year-old Andrew Jacob Priest. This case is still an active investigation with several agencies, including the DA's office, conducting independent reviews. When initially asked if non-lethal force could have been used, police said officers needed to take appropriate action because someone's life was being threatened. Reporting in Salt Lake City, Lad Egan, KSL 5 News. Lad, thank you.